It sounds like you're saying Luca will not be like a perennial All Star type player. I don't but see if he's that. The athleticism that that's a pro the lack of athleticism. Yeah, it doesn't have it. His feet is slower than rush hour traffic. I don't believe he's a lottery pick. Not a lottery no. pick. When Luka Doncic declared for the 2018 NBA draft, he faced some harsh criticism by sports analysts. I've heard you break down some players, and you do a fabulous job. The analyst you just saw, Rashad Phillips, even went as far as saying Luka wasn't truly worthy of a lottery pick, and he wouldn't touch Luka with a 10 foot pole. Not a lottery pick. It was a hot take to say the least, but he also compared Luka's game to Hedo Turkoglu. So his his NBA comparison is Hedo Turkoglu. Bruh. Hedo Turkoglu, you guys remember him? Hedo was drafted 16th overall by the Sacramento Kings in the 2000 NBA draft. He averaged 11 points, four rebounds, and two assists through his 15 year career. His top accolade was the NBA's most improved player in 2008, and he went to the NBA Finals with the Orlando Magic in 2009. Not a bad NBA career by any stretch of the imagination, but the comparison between Hedo and Luka is just disrespectful. When I say Hedo okay. Turkoglu, there's okay. no slight to Luka Doncic. He Donchers. shoots it like Hedo? Sh he sh no, he don't shoot okay, it like that. Okay, because Hedo can shoot. Hedo can come off and knock it down. Yeah. Luka was a basketball prodigy before even entering the NBA draft. At the incredibly young age of 16, he played for Real Madrid and became the youngest pro player in club history. By 18, Luka led his team to the EuroLeague title while also winning the EuroLeague Final Four MVP and the EuroLeague MVP, becoming the youngest player in league history to win the award. In short, Luka was the best basketball player in the second best basketball league in the entire world at 18 years old. Now, if you thought these NBA pre-draft predictions were off, guess what? They aged even worse once Luka finally played in the NBA. From the start, it was obvious Luka was different. In just his second game with the Mavericks, he put up 26 points points in a win over the Timberwolves, making him the youngest 20-point scorer in Mavs history. Luka posted his first NBA triple-double January 19, 2019. Eight days later, he recorded his second when he scored 35 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists against the Toronto Raptors. This made him the first teenager in NBA history to record a 30-point triple-double while already having multiple on the record. Luka won the 2019 NBA Rookie of the Year award and ended his rookie campaign averaging 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. He joined NBA legends Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Oscar Robert Robertson as the only rookies in NBA history with the 25 and 5 stat line for the rookie year. My eyes, my eyes don't deceive me. He do Turkaloo. But this was just the beginning for the rising star. In his second season, Luka elevated his game to another level. November 18th, 2019, Luka scored a career high 42 points, 11 rebounds, and 12 assists in a win against the Spurs. With his incredible display, Luka became the second player in NBA history to record a 40 point triple double before turning 21 years old. The other, the king, LeBron James. Just a few days later, Luka continued his dominance. He destroyed Golden State with a historic performance. Luka outscored the entire Warriors team in the first quarter by himself. He finished with a 35-point triple-double in only 25 minutes of playing, breaking an NBA record. The two 35-point triple-doubles in succession broke another NBA record. Luka became the youngest player in NBA history to record back-to-back 35-point triple-doubles. The only other players to accomplish this, regardless of age, Michael Jordan, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook. Luka finished his sophomore season averaging nearly 29 points per game, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists. Luka was selected to his first NBA All-Star game, and his efforts were great enough to lead the Mavs into the postseason. Now, if you remember from earlier, one of the criticisms of Luka's game is that he didn't do too well against quick defenders. And in the 2020 playoffs, the LA Clippers had two NBA All-Defensive players in Kawhi Leonard and Patrick Beverly. Not to mention they had Paul George too. He made the NBA All-Defensive team the previous season. The three elite defenders should have had a field day with Luka, the slow, unathletic point guard. But despite the odds, Luka went out and dropped 42 points against the Clippers in the series opener. Those 42 points are the most scored by any player ever in their NBA playoff debut. Two games later, Luka went off again. He scored 43 points, grabbed 17 rebounds, and had 13 assists. He even tied up the series with an epic game-winning three-point shot. Unfortunately, the Mavericks lost the series, but Luka earned his spot on the All-NBA first team and finished fourth in MVP voting. The overrated EuroLeague player had turned into a legit NBA superstar. The athleticism, that's a pro the lack of athleticism. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Now, by 2021, the 2018 predictions about Luka's athleticism and his shooting ability were laughable. At the young age of 22 years old, Luka eclipsed the 5,000 point mark. The only three other players to do this quicker were LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Kevin Durant. Luka brought the Mavericks back to the playoffs with another showdown against the LA Clippers. Luka shined as usual, pushing the series to seven games, but the Mavericks would ultimately fall short again. Still, Luka scored 28 plus points in six of the seven games, three of which he had over 40, including a game seven slugfest where Luka dropped 46 points, seven rebounds, and 14 assists. With another incredible year under his belt, Luka received his second consecutive invitation to the All-NBA first team. It sounds like you're saying Luka will not be a perennial all-star type player, but if that. he's rid a couple great players, he can be that great number Absolutely. three guy or something like that. That's what he will be But he's got to work on the shot, I guess, because yeah, that was a yeah. big part of he, for yeah. he do. Yeah. He also became the cover athlete for NBA 2K22. 
Luka not only proved the haters wrong, but he also became an NBA megastar, and it took him only three seasons to do it. In the spirit of NBA predictions, I'll put my name on the line. Luka will end his career as an NBA champion, league MVP, and become one of the greatest international players of all time, joining the likes of Tim Duncan, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Dirk Nowitzki. Hopefully, Luka continues to dominate and my prediction doesn't go sour like milk. If you enjoy these longer videos, please let me know in the comments below or by leaving a like. I would love some feedback on what you guys like to see in the future, so any topics or stories you want covered, just comment below or upvote your favorite ones. Also consider subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected, especially since I'm dropping stories, YouTube shorts, and videos every couple of days. Lastly, if you love prediction videos like I do, check out this hilariously bad pre-draft Steph Curry prediction video. Peace.